How you guys doing? Matthew Bogus here. Uh, we're back from the yard Nick Anigans. I got my uh, oldest son, Sean, youngest one, Sam. Sam. And today, we're well, going to teach these boys how to start a fire the right way. So, there's different, a couple of different things you need to know about starting fires. Uh, most thing is, never go over the size of your wrist. That's the biggest you ever want to burn. Nothing anything bigger than that. Because if you go bigger than that, it takes a lot longer to burn out. And you have to sit there longer because you can't leave a fire unattended. So, never go over the side of your wrist. It only makes a fire as big as you need it. Need it, okay? So, what we need to start out with is uh, some kindling, some nice dry leaves. Works great if you can find them. It's rainy outside, so we're kind of limited on that right now. Or something else you could use if you have it. Paper. So we'll probably use some paper today to, uh, to help get this started. Next thing we're going to need is so we got our uh, small stuff and you need uh, your smaller sticks, your kindling. We're going to use this to uh, actually build up coals and get a lot of heat built up that way. And after that, you're going to have your larger pieces of wood, like these ones here. So there's yes. a couple different ways you can build your fire. You, you can either uh, do a teepee? Do a teepee? And what a log cabin. Or a log, log cabin. There's actually one other way you can do it. What is it, Dad? It's a combination of both. And we got sirens oh. in the background, so just a second. And there goes the ambulance. Not for us, though. We'll safe when we do our shenanigans. So the first thing I want to do, I usually do, when I build my fires, log cab I do a log cabin, cabin and a teepee together. So I take my logs. And I lay them out. Like so. And I'm not gonna go very big today. Don't know why that's on there. Always carry a parking knife. Always carry a parking knife, yes. One thing is you never want trash in your fire. It's always bad. It always yes. You never burn trash. So now I've got my basic Not log cabin trash. set up here. So I'm gonna take some of this kindling down around my feet. This nice dry uh, leaves, Sean. Sam, you got some nice dry leaves around you and some no. dry grass. Yeah, I some dry grass. Just throw some of that in the center there. When I like mow. Yep. So I'm gonna take uh, some of this paper here. What I like to do is I like to rip them and rip it up a little bit. That's enough, boys. Okay. Put some in the middle so I know I can have a something to uh, and light. Something useful is pine cones. Yeah, pine cones were awesome. Yeah, and they now, add a great smell. What I'd like to do is I go start building a teepee or in the center of this. So I'm gonna say that's a teepee log house. Yep, it's a mixture of uh, a teepee, teepee, log. teepee log and a log cabin. So, if I just quit throwing my little kindling sticks around, I might be able to get this built up a little bit. Oops, sorry. And as you're going, you should see it will actually start standing up by itself. And you Whoa. just keep adding more wood into it. You don't want to put so much wood in there, you're going to suffocate it. But if you don't put enough wood in there, you're not going to be able to build a nice bed of coals. Which is what you need, especially if it's a wet day. You need some good coals to help dry out wood and get it to actually burn nicely. So there's our basic setup. Now, next thing we'll need is either a lighter. This is one I carry in my hiking pack. I have tape, duct tape around it because you never know when you need duct tape. Fixes all kinds of stuff. I know. And we're stuck anywhere matches that are all weather, still in a case. I think we'll play with the matches like, today. That looks like it was, that one was my. Uh, Why is it hot? To help keep it from moving. Ooh. Oh. And this actually comes with an extra strike any, uh, strikers on it. Yeah. We'll pull one of these out. Let's 
screw our cap shut because we don't want to accidentally catch our other matches on fire. That would be bad. So here's your Daddy. nice strike anywhere matches right I here. I have a question. What's that? Can you strike it, like, make it light on fire, like, make, rub it against anything to light it? Uh, if they're the right kinds, this kind I believe you can. They should because this is, uh, well, these are the stormproof matches, so these may not. So, but we're going to use this because, why not? I haven't got to play with one of these in a while. Yeah. So just strike it. I always hold it upside down a little bit. And wow, get you our might fire. want to have something to fan it away with. No, the smoke. Really. If it's in your way. And we got a little bit of burning going. Yeah, yep, we got some right here. And now you just wait for it to build up fire. why it's a very valuable skill to have to be able to uh, get a fire going pretty easily. Especially if you're in a survival situation. You gotta be able to be patient and work with it. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you get a fire started in cold, wet weather. And uh, we're going to sit out here and enjoy it for a while. So, until next time. Bye. Remember, have fun. Sam, do you have one, something you want to close with like you did last time? Yes. And make sure to subscribe, ring the bell, and comment any videos you want to see. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe like I said. Bye. From the back Bye. again again. Bye.